Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is very, very different. I don't even know how to start this video because obviously we are in a very strange situation at the moment. And many of you watching this, most of my subscribers, followers are parents and you might find yourself at home for the foreseeable future with your children in tow, possibly having to homeschool your children for the foreseeable future. So before I go any further, it's probably important to say that I am a primary school teacher. I don't mention that much, but um, I am. <laughs> I have been for, this will be my eighth, ninth year, something like that, it's been a while. And I specialize in key stage one. Obviously I want to use my skill set to help as many people as I can who are at home, wanting just new, fresh things, games, activities to do with their children. So I'm gonna be sharing an activity on here and on my Instagram every few days, trying to keep it rolling, keep it fresh, and I'm gonna keep them really simple. So I specialize in key stage one, which is year one and year two, so that's where these activities will be useful. But I do wanna make it clear that I don't want anyone to be feeling any pressure. I don't want parents to be at home and be feeling like they need to be working their children from nine till three because they're not in school. That will not go well. Like, <laughs> I don't even know your children personally and I can tell you that will not work. We're in a bizarre once in a lifetime, once in many lifetimes situations here. So don't stress, just keep it casual. Make sure your children are happy and just maybe do a couple of things a day. Learning doesn't always look like sitting at a table with numbers in front of you. You know, learning can look so different. They are learning all day, every day, no matter what they're doing. Okay, so any activities I share with you will be easy for you to do without leaving the house. Any principles that I share with you will always be linked in the description box or the things you can easily make yourself. You do not need to buy anything. You do not need to go out. Okay, so this is maths activity number one that I'm gonna be sharing with you. So if you have any children in year one or year two, this is a really simple game you can play. So this game is focused on facts number facts you might have heard that a lot from their teachers or some teachers call them number bombs number facts it's basically thinking of all the numbers that need to go together to make one number and the main number that we tend to focus on when doing number facts is 10 so number facts for 10 or number bombs for 10 your children if they're in year one year two will know exactly what I'm talking about so this is a really really simple game to just get their brain working and thinking about their number facts for 10 so all that means is thinking of all the different ways that we can make 10. All you need to do this is some digit cards, some zero to 10 digit cards. These are free to print. I have put them in the description box just below. So just click on that and print them yourself. If you're wondering why on earth I have colored in the back of every digit card, it's because printer paper is quite thin and you will realize this when you print them at home, you can see the digit through it. So I just did a beautiful little scribble on the back so you can't see the digits. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how this game works. Okay, all you have to do is turn the digit cards upside down, shuffle them around, make sure they don't know where you have put each digit. So do it in secret. And it's a bit like a memory game. So you're trying to find the pairs that make 10. So if they pick up a two, they obviously then need to think about which pair they're looking for to make 10. Hopefully they'll say eight, and then they need to try and find it. Does that make 10? No, so we have to put both back. Before you do that, you can make that into an opportunity, check it, think about what five add two would be before you put them back. It's just another little opportunity to do some addition. We've picked up a six. Talk about what you need to add to six to make 10. Try and find the four. We did it, so there you go. They can keep that one, they will be thrilled. One and seven. Again, obviously that doesn't make 10, but talk about what it does make. Put them back. And then obviously it just carries on like this. So it is like a memory game. And in the end, they will match up all of the numbers that make 10. If you found that your child was quite able doing this game, there are loads of ways it can be changed. You can either increase the numbers so you have digit cards up to 20. There's probably a principle for that online or you could just make them yourself, cut up some paper and make them yourself. And then obviously they're finding the pairs to make 20. Or you could do it with smaller numbers. You know, just because your child is really secure on what makes 10 doesn't mean that they necessarily are as secure on all the numbers that make nine, eight, seven, six. So you could take away the irrelevant numbers and do number facts for eight, finding all the numbers that make eight. 
So there are a lot of ways that you can change and differentiate this game. And that's it, that is our game for today. So this is volume one of homeschooling maths key stage one games. If you wanna put in the digit cards, they are below, or if you'd rather just make your own, make your own. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope it was helpful. Please subscribe before you go. I will be uploading a maths idea every few days. Like I said at the beginning, don't panic, you've got this. We will all get through this together. See you in my next video.